Best people, how are you? Yes, it's the Crypto Sniper. That's right, glad to be back with you. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you did like we warned. Stayed out or at least shorted uh, the crypto markets. We'll be showing you a very interesting point coming up right now. But before I do that, Instagram. We are on Instagram. Many people complain. And this is the first time I'm mentioning this on Crypto Sniper that my videos are long form. They don't have the time to watch 45 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, etc short single between 30 30 seconds up to a minute and a half on our instagram and we'll be announcing a couple of early community trades first here before we do it on twitter before we do it on youtube you will miss those the chance to be a little bit earlier remember that's still a whole bunch later than being part of our premium community we'll be doing beyond milkshake on the fx markets which will be detailing two non-dollar related trades that show that it's not just about dollar dominance on fx that will be being released uh, first the two trades and what they are on the instagram account and we will do the same for cryptos on our next trade but it will be some time after our community have gorged and got their fills in first so a couple of things uh, just to bear in mind let's go back to the crypto charts and talk so we warned you that Jackson Hole was coming. Don't get hold, we said, uh, Jackson. And that was on our Market Sniper channel. You should also be following that. Macro is driving crypto, guys. You need the other stuff. So many guys realizing that it just isn't about the crypto anymore. It isn't just crypto. There's a major dollar game being played out here in the name of inflation that they, of course, totally created all by themselves. Knowingly, it is not oh, they're so stupid, they don't understand, and I'm so smart, I'm the only one who can see it. No, it's knowingly. They're far less stupid than you think. It is knowingly they are doing things. And crypto is in trouble. This is Bitcoin. Now, I want to show you another part of Bitcoin. Um, this is on the bigger time frames. And can I once again say that this is not bottoming? This is not bottoming. We gave you the rising wedge that was tiny and inside there for a sell off. In fact, I'm going to be showing you uh, on a single token. I actually shorted a f uh, two tokens, but I made just on Maker 52 grand. This is a great bear season. People are dying in crypto. They're hodling and they're biting their bottom lip and they just getting pain. And it just doesn't have to be that way. But you can't just go jumping in and start shorting unless you know when, how, how much, where's targets, when do you close, where's your stop placement. Whole bunch of things. Shorting is uh, an advanced technique um, and you need some understanding uh, to uh, get your drifts. That's why. Go to themarketsniper.com. Learn how and why and what reasons and where to put your entries, limits, uh take profits and of course stops now take profits are down here if we're shorting and stops are over there um so you know just on that one token 52 grand i'm going to be showing you a very interesting feature of what seems to be going on this is on ftx i've taken a couple of screenshots the trade fills are as long as a toilet roll and i'll be showing you why am i as a shorter taking money from the bot companies that are wash trading in exchanges this is what i'm going to ask you guys and hey i could have this wrong so there's somebody smarter than me watching this that will say no dude this is what's happening they're just doing micro fills all of the same size but i am going to show you the fills of when i sold short and when i bought short and i'm going to show you something that i think is very funny i could be taking money out of the companies that are running the wash trading and the bot keeping the bids you know those of you that think having a bid and ask bot uh, is the rate to riches well you might want to think again it isn't always necessarily going to be that way i'll be showing you that in a minute as well but i want to show you another key point first before we do that bitcoin against the nasdaq divided by the nasdaq can you see that this is an underperforming asset class to an already underperforming asset class can you see that this is not going well for bitcoin it is skidding into lows it is perceived as high beta tech and it's continued out of jackson hole and made a new low marginally lower low for now a little bit of a bid up today because the tech market will be coming down right now um, no doubt but it is a terrible underperformance for bitcoin 
this my good friends there was our squeezy squeezy japanesey the smaller one inside the bigger one let's go a different color little boy pippi blue uh for the big structure that we told you was a two and a half year setup that you should absolutely get in at yes that was round about there um, and that you were going to have a run that would exceed all expectations. Then we called that head and shoulders. Yes, you know this. You know this to be true. But this is Bitcoin against the tech market. We called that head and shoulders. And we said, buy this falling wedge. It will pump again. Yeah, some of you remember all of this stuff. It sure, uh, it sure does uh, ring a bell for some of you. But anyway, let's get on with it. So Bitcoin is losing ground. It's losing ground to the tech market. And that is not a good thing. That is not a good thing at all. Um, and it's going to remain in a uh, that until we see relative strength of Bitcoin versus tech markets, you need to buy a short. This is the key uh, aspect. So let's have a look at Maker, which was one of the ones, one of the key ones I shorted. It's one we've discussed on this channel before. We told you about the rising wedge. Remember the rising wedge? I should be showing you the images. We point posted them on Twitter. We did the rising wedge on YouTube. You know it. It's all there. Go have a look. Crypto Sniper. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Are you subscribing by the way a number of the guys are complaining that they get unsubscribed subscribe to the market sniper and the crypto sniper please remember to do that uh, a view to a kill bitcoin and the crypto prey seven days ago going down we ran 25 we told you about the key level of 25 for bitcoin and 2000 for ethereum ethereum is at 1400 today that's 600 odd dollars down from the 20 and a burger and coke that it made over there we told you about the rising legs weakness shorts could pay uh we have a big alt that is still on that trade is still on yes that is uh, um, an interesting one and we will uh, you'll find out which one it is when you go to the market sniper.com and you see which one we really like for a two-thirds fall and you can get in and it's fallen some of that way but it's still got most of it still to do um, that's just simple old money for rope. Show me more. Show me more of the crypto sniper. What say he? Bitcoin underperforms to tech stocks. Again, you're still seeing it. It's made new lows. It continues to underperform. Beware the rising wedge. That was here, good people. This is what you're hearing. This is the guidance you're getting for free on this YouTube channel. And I ask you for one like and one share. That's all. It's currency for me so that we can continue to support you getting better in your trading and giving you the best that we can, which won't always be 100% right. Macro foils crypto. It's about the macro. It's about the macro. Bitcoin to go down to sub 20. That was over a month ago. And the other key levels after it gets down to 20, which we still hold, will be potential. Not a bottom. We can, our message is consistent. Look at these buttons. Um, there's three bears. That was it. The three bears. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Gotta love those videos. Great buttons. Ah, oh, I didn't do them. I'm, I'm, that's not self-flagellation and masturbation and uh, cerebral fluffings for myself. No, 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 not at all. So you're going to get a little bit of a bid and I uh, was happy to take uh, the 50 grand on offer that was 52 odd that I made here on Maker. Um, and I'm expecting it to bottom and a bit of a rally now actually bit of a rally does that mean crypto sniper just said be bullish crypto absolutely not it is part of a continuation structure that i am expecting for another major downside to the sell south side down 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 to come but you will have a rally period some people are only comfortable trading long um, i wouldn't trade this long by the way because it may not be for too long it may not be for too far but there will likely be a rally, we've been saying. We feel the dollar's a tiny bit extended now. It'll pause for a bit before it goes higher. Look at these charts, working hard. Um, so we got out over here, down. I will show you the actual statements because we think we're stealing money from the bots. Those bots that always jump in front of your order whenever you put them. Uh, I'm hoping you will enjoy that fact that we are filching them because I'm going to be showing you the execution statements. But let's finish the technical analysis first before we transition to this. So overall, there's a potential possibility. Whoops, that's a bit of a fat cokey. Let's go thin cokey on little boy pippy. Little pippies must be thin uh, as well as little. Um, let's just do that. Little boy pippy blues. There we go. There we go. Now. 
could be that and it goes early. I don't think so. I think you're going to get a little bit more and a little bit longer winded. So it would be more like TG Pink. What a what an incredible transgender pink uh, village people scrum off for Australia in the weekend. You should have seen this play acting girl. If you follow Rugby Union, go and watch uh, Nick White. Oh my God. He's bringing Neymar to Rugby Union. Big fat boo. What a brand, Australia. Come on, you can do better than that. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. My weekend highlights are coming through. I'd expect something like this. It could go a bit higher. Could go like that. And then that would be the setup. So I'm interested in shorting anywhere it gets close to a thousand on a rally. That's my guesstimation on the basis of further downside. Man, this downside, this grinding bear that's just killing people is so good for people that reframe. It's just money. It felt, I don't want to ever say this because you curse yourself and you curse a lot of things, but it felt like easy trade. It just felt like an easy trade. It felt like easy money. Um, and it's not often I say that um, because A, I don't think it's a good habit to say that very often. B, um, you you're trading in the right direction it's often you, you if you get too i don't want to say it sounds like arrogance and you'll get a kick in the ass i promise you i'm not meaning or seeking to be arrogant but it was just utterly predictable we sat and watched it come and we took it and it did what we expected it to do and we got out and that's it uh it was like no big dramas in fact i have to say i got a new device and I, d I was dumb enough not to transfer my Google Authenticator over and I got rid of the old device, wiped and traded in and I couldn't, I couldn't even get into the platform and I just sorted it out today and it was at the level where I wanted to close so I just closed it. It was, it was a piece of piss and I wasn't even logging on and I wasn't even worried and I, I don't even think I checked the charts. I was just benign indifference but it's still a substantial sum to me and I'm really glad to have earned it and I want you to be able to do it for yourself. Um, so, 788 now, I think you could, can get up to the, the 900s possibly, uh, the upper 800s, 900s, possibly just sneak a thousand maybe. Um, so that's a great shorting box around the thousand level for me, for Maker. Um, and I want to show you those trades, I'm going to be showing them, but I can tell you there's a lot of others that will probably also have a little rally. We know what we're looking for and we have one and you can find out about it. And I ain't telling you because you can find out about it. You can find about it where you know how along with us in the community. Um, some things are sacrosanct. Uh, we share and give away a lot, but generally this kind of structure is terrible. And there's a great suspicion it leads to that. And then you go down. This is Tezos. Um, so Ethereum back up and getting a bit of a rally, but it hit 14. So that does a lot of damage to any notion. We said we don't expect reversals, but there was one technical possibility on Ethereum. Look how much it's come down. Look how much it's come down. Short at a burger and a Coke, 2,030, and you get out at 1420. That's 600 bucks. That's a 30% move, guys. You know, people used to getting that on stocks, used to make out like bandits. You caught a 30% move on a stock. You, you, cryptos are all about X, 10X, 5X, 3X, da 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 and hodling. Man, 30% short sell. Uh, you know, you, you let go half a million there, or you let go 50 grand if you've got a smaller account, or you let go five grand if you've got a mini account. You've made good alpha there. You know, you've made really good alpha there. And it's dipped well below that possible left shoulder. And this is unfortunately macro leaning on this situation. And you could, if you get a rally, end up with uh, a head and shoulders in the opposite direction, by the way. Like that. So there's your little cutie pie neckline, 14.20. Note the touch here. Note the break with momentum there. Note the hammering on the round number. So I would say 1400 is probably your boy. But you probably have to get these two lows in it. So we'd stay with 1420, maybe 1425. 1400, I don't think this is made 1400 by lows. Just check it. Check it, check it, check it. What's the low there? 1422 and the low there, 1424. So I would say 1425 is your neckline. So if you get a, a softish rally up to around here, 
and then you start selling off hard this could be very ugly because there's your squared up left shoulder this is all a channel up there's the squeezy there's the break you could have been short 1800 as well over here all the way down to 1400 now that's call it 350 would be 380 but call it 350 again another another very good break and then that could set up target structures for back down to the nasty thousands oh dear oh dear heart ache and what about the merge what about the merge we know you must buy ethereum all this new developments ah uh, but it's all turning down um so if we have a look at the fdom a little bit of a coming off and we predicted this we said it had gone up really strong here but now it was broadening broadening we said you'll break that and then you'll get a return move and then you could come off again so you could do a little bit like that and then nah 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 so uh watch out watch out ethereum fanboys yes very good up here from 15 percent dom back into the 19s but from there it's been skittish this is a very clustered area we've shown you this on bigger time frames we've shown you on this on much bigger time frames that was the last time you brought in look at that breakdown and then you got back up here and you're in this range here there's your magic 20. you're not holding above 20 for any sustained period let's clear the face there is no sustained period hold above 20. that's your time above the 20 percent you're struggling it's a peak um so i think rally and then again a drift off churn and drift off i don't think there's too much more in the dominant stakes for ethereum now i think there's possibly scope for some more of it to the downside um so that's uh that's a little bit of that wow soul how the mighty have fallen from the mid 40s down to 31 again similar structure watch out for this one to could come a teeny bit lower but then i think maybe like that down and we ask are you going to give us continuation then we're going to be there like fred you ain't going to get the call guys this is the youtube where you get told if you ain't watching you ain't going to get the call if you're in the community you'll know about it because we'll all be talking about it uh and then guess what i think that would be if it were to happen and make target that's going to be a six digit sum because i'd have two or three on them probably at six digit sums each one um, but that's counting eggs before they've happened and there would be pain and eventually the, we're wrong you know so let me just temper that um, rather bullish uh, forecast and say it's only a scenario it's not a belief system it's if it gives that to me then I will do this and I will still need stops and I could still fail so there you go that was your rising wedge that I was referring to as I say, even if you got in late-ish, you could have been in here, you would have been in at about 43, and you're down at 30s, 30, 31. That doesn't sound like a lot. It's $10. It's 25%. It's over $10. It's $12 on a 43 item. It's 25%. It's plus 25%. Man, oh man. So, yeah, that's the game. That's the game on crypto. Let's have a look at these statements. So, I've just done an edited version. There's actually two and a half pages of this one long page that I've done. You can't see anything, so let me just go actual size to the top. Are we taking our profits? So here's the shorts on Maker. We shorted, these shorts were at around 842. Tell me if you know, but I'm calling foul play that there's so many. So I was selling to go short at 842.5 on maker and look at this number oh, that were bought 0 0.322 0 0.322 and all the others around it 0 0.28 0 0.28 0 0.322 who do you think enters and then two for 0 0.3433 3. and then hey let's have some more how about 0 0.322 and we could always vary it up instead of going North point. So that's where we're done. We're up to here. How about some? There's the last 0 0.322. How about some 0 0.326? Oh, let's go back to 322 again. What do you say? Tell me this isn't bots. Who is buying like that? I want to highlight in all of that that the time is changing. It's not like they've broken my trade up and just put lots of different, you know, 
they took my whole trade and then decided to break it up into lots of 0.322s. These are at different times, different seconds. 0.322, 1808, 58, 1808, 57, 1808, 55. Where were those others? 180903. This is happening at different times. Here's two. These are separate micro trades, guys. I am stealing from your enemies with the short trades. Because these bots are filling me and they're filling me on nibbles and nibbles and nibbles. Lots of micro nibbles seconds apart. 4, 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 859, 858, 857, 855. And there's that 0.343 again. In between 0.343 and 322. And this is, I'm telling you, I've got pages of this. I shorted some size there. It took a lot of 0.322s. Here they come. Watch them coming. Look at these 322s. Look at this. Look at these executions. Do you guys look at your execution statements? 0.322. Jesus, there were a lot of people that wanted just one third, but not quite, of Maker. A lot of different people that all thought I'll buy 0.322 Maker. How about that? What do you make of that? And all at different times. Again, 53, 52, 51, 57, 56, 33. These are the bots inside the bid nibbling trade. That's my take. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe somebody knows more. This is straight out the back. Somebody will ask what exchange. This is FTX. But I've had similar things on other exchanges. So you can see all these little micro transactions buying. And are these the, the fee? Is it? Do they get more fees if bots nibble? Instead of one guy buys the whole lot? Or, or sells. I'm selling short. So yeah, buys the whole lot. I don't know. I don't know. Lots of micro fees, lots of micro buys. This is bot trading. This is bot trading. So that was um, the sales at 8.42. And then the, the interesting thing was, oh, I've not put the buys in. Let me just pause it right here and show you the buys. I don't want to show you my platform, but I'll show you the buys. Hold on one second. Yep, so we're back and I've just posted one small segment of it. So again, it's reasonable size that I'm short now. I'm buying back. And there was one guy who bought 54 maker of uh, at $765. So that's somebody who had about, um, what's it, about four grand. Um, but most of the purchases are odd lot amounts. Uh, again, small purchases. Six, four, but it's not in the same pattern. You can't say that that's a bot. But they're very, very close together and they are a small amount. It could be a bot, but it's not the same amount bot. There's quite a few 787s here. 787, 78, 787. So there is some bot buying, I think. And if you have two 78s, I don't know whether that's 1.4. So there is some bot buying in between here, but uh, it didn't have the same exact pattern. But all micro purchases again fees there I actually I think received some mark market making fees and then I got charged on some of the others um, and that was at 764 so short from 842 to 765 but these cells these cells are super suspicious for me um, so it seems like there's there's much less volume. The, the people, so what do I conclude from this? And stop me if I'm making a mistake on my logic. Just leave a comment down below. I'm interested in all your comments down below because the truth is I don't know anything at all. I have no more information than you. I'm just making an observation. I shorted at 842 and I covered at seven, 760. Where we go, 763-ish through to 765. Um, and most of the trade on the sell side was clearly bots to me because there were separate times, even if they were one second apart. So I don't think the bots are doing so great either um, because they, they've stumped up a lot to me during this bear market. And this isn't the first time I'm seeing it. 
So there must be an immense amount of micro BS bot trade to create volume going on. And when you come in and you put your limit order not too far away from market and it comes and it nibbles you, nibbles you, goes away, comes back, nibbles you, nibbles you, nibbles you. The bots are taking the losses because that same bots that are in the market are buying back. Um, they are buying in the beginning and then selling back to me at 765 and 763. So what do you make of it? Uh, surely this must raise a couple of queries. The volume you see on crypto exchanges, I don't think that's the first time you'll be hearing this, is full of bullshit volume and fluff. I must be the only guy dancing in the room here. <laughs> I'm dancing with myself. Oh, 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 the 52 grand dance on a single token. And these guys are losing that? The same guys, the same company, they, they, they buying at 842? And they they selling back to me at 765 what's going on there isn't true volume people are wrecked in a lot of the tokens look i don't think you'd get this in bitcoin to the same degree i don't think you'd get it to the same degree in ethereum um maker is what number um token i generally tend not to uh be that far down but it's one i've been watching for a while how far is maker down the it just seems to illustrate to me that Exchange volume is weak, and um, I don't think uh, bear markets do the bots any favors. Maker is 782 right now, rank 57. Wow. It's actually a lot further out than I thought it was. So it shows these mid-cap, these mid-caps, there's just no depth there. And I can tell you what will be a terrible, get a trade wrong, so count me lucky and take a lesson without having to pay for it get it wrong on this token and this is why i say don't trade too often in the market caps little new lesson to me makers volume dropping too too thin um, out of this is get it wrong and you're going to be chasing up to get out and the only thing you're going to have is teeny weeny little piranhas of bots nibbling 0.3s when you've shorted 1000 and now it's pumping and you've got to cover. So major lesson in there. Um, you could be shaken out. Stay with the liquidity and volume. Um, it's fallen from grace a fair bit and it's quite low down the market cap and that volume is low. And most volume that you will see is on these mid caps is probably likely to be very, very suspect. I will probably short Bitcoin at some point if it does what I think it might do. Not if it doesn't. In that event, I will do a similar analysis and I will report back to you what happens. In fact, if you're in our community, you could participate in the experiment yourself and maybe make some money. So I will probably short Bitcoin if it were to do that. Where would I be looking to do it? You might ask. And then I'll tell you how much of the volume on the major big God market will come in. I think from here, roughly 21 and a half to 23 and a half. I think a rally up there. I might even be a bit strong. It could be weaker. But I think you get up to, do you see where that alert is? Pretty much that would become an interesting uh, level. But it might not make it all that way. You could get to, you know, 21.9 only. It could be, if it's very long and flat and takes a while, you could get something like this. Let's change the color again. I will do and tell you about the volume and the depth on the token and how much of it gets taken up by those that have to wash trade and make small amounts of trades to generate volume buying at one point and selling back to themselves at another okay uh, i think that's all i've got for you today it's crypto you're with a crypto sniper let me know in your comments what's going on is it the bots that paid my profits it doesn't look like retail. I'm, I'd, I'd like it that way. I don't like taking my viewers' money away from them because they want to hodl. I prefer it wasn't yours. I prefer it to bot makers who've often front run my orders and gone and jumped ahead whenever I put a limit close to the bid. So let them have it. Or is it uh, the exchanges fracturing it up to make lots of mini transactions? I don't know. It's very, it will be very interesting to hear what you guys think because I actually don't know. Um, but anyway, that's my expectation for Bitcoin. That would be a shorting point and you can learn more and get more about where we would play stops. 
uh, how far down we'd go if we took an early entry there um, and which of the other alt tokens which would fall further has more volume than maker is a bigger name than maker um, and is in our sweet spot for delivery uh, a 66 percent uh, fall from the level that we first marked it of which most of that is still available you can find out about that and more booking a call join us hey shorting isn't for everybody it's a technique you need stops you don't always get it right take profits are there but this is the market and things are going to get worse watch our reset sniper channel don't forget to go sub instagram over there for our short form single point wisdoms francis the man who talks too much get shorter bites smaller bites over there uh, and enjoy it uh, catch you later thanks for watching we appreciate shares we ask you to like and hit the share that's all we ask thank you so much catch you next time